It was like a living hell. I mean, you didn't know whether you was going to live or die. That's how Gladys Jackson remembers the few minutes this tornado turned her world upside down. I just went to praying and crying and just saying, Lord, please shield and protect me and my kids. And the next thing I knew, I felt those rising in the air and it threw us out. Her mobile home on Holly Drive used to sit here. Now it's barely recognizable and the whole scene is hard to get out of her mind. It was it was real crazy chaos. I was crying. My kids was crying. My neighbor was running out crying. It was bleeding and everybody was just saying, help, somebody come help me. County officials don't have a dollar amount yet on the losses from this storm, but for Gladys, it took almost everything she's got. It's really frustrating because I really don't have anything valuable to put on, nothing to put on, nothing like that. I just wanted to go in there and just savage what I could savage because, you know, I don't have anything now, but I do have my life and my kids' life, but other than that, nothing. On top of all that, the storm blew away her pit bull, Moosey, but today she got a piece of good news. We didn't have time to run down on the other end of my trailer to get her, and we just knew she was dead and all this rubbish, but today we got a phone call saying that they had found her. And despite being down and out, she still has enough faith to hold her head up. I know there's a God because the way my trailer is, I know there's a God. He had his hands in there while we was going, being flipped and thrown around. Yes, there's a God. He saved us.